Hello everyone, welcome to Base Watches. Building a watch collection is generally a progression beginning with the accumulation of a handful of modestly priced favorites and building toward the quest for pricier and more coveted models as one's knowledge and disposable income grow. If you're in the market for your first Icon watch, here are 5 best watches under $10,000 to consider. Additional product details can be found at the links I've provided below. So without further ado, let's get started. The Tudor FXD almost certainly has a few ingredients you think you won't like, but this watch is a great example of why you trust the chef. That doesn't mean it's perfect or Michelin star worthy, it means that some questionable or otherwise unusual traits have been turned into something genuinely and surprisingly good. The FXD measures 42mm in diameter from the edges of the bezel assembly however, if you measure the case itself, you're looking at 41mm. The lug to lug is where the real concern was laid, which is advertised as being 52 millimeters. In reality, the measurement taken from the center of the lug bars is 51.4 millimeters. It's important to note that those lug bars bow out and away from the case, and if you measure the tips of the lugs, you look at 49.7 millimeters. Finally, the total thickness is 12.7 millimeters, about 1.5 millimeters thinner than the existing Pelagos. Tudor is using their MT5602 automatic movement within the FXD, which we've seen put to use in dateless black bays since its introduction back in 2015. As the dial attests, this is a chronometer, officially certified, and in my time with the watch it remained within a second each day. The movement offers 70 hours of reserve and gets a silicon balance spreading which is non-magnetic. The Tudor FXD is an odd mix of components that somehow come together to work way better than they have any business doing. From the case to the dial to the bezel, there's nothing straightforward about this watch, but it manages to be much more than the sum of those parts. A watch should make you smile. It should put a little spring in your step. And for the lucky few, it might just do both as you find yourself glancing down at it throughout the day. But it's a rare instance. The Omega Speedmaster 50th Anniversary Silver Snoopy Edition is the third in a whimsical trio of limited edition Speedmasters that have each paid homage to a quirky NASA award, each time yielding a highly collectible, but markedly different outcome. Rich blue hues aside, it's a dramatic shift in tone from the cute but arguably much more sedate execution of 2015's Apollo 13 anniversary silver Snoopy, which depicted a luminous silhouette of Snoopy asleep at the 9 o'clock register. It's funny just how much Snoopy's physical depiction completely changes the vibe of the watch, but here we got a very deep relief of Charles Schull's famous beagle and his signature dance, arms and ears akimbo, grinning ear to ear from within the confines of a space helmet. It's the official illustration used for the physical Sterling Silver Snoopy medallion awarded to NASA employees and its contractors for outstanding achievements related to human flight safety or mission success, and a detail we've come to expect reserved for the case back of Speedmaster Snoopy editions. And speaking of case backs, the addition of the modules and an exhibition glass through which to view them render this watch a hair thicker than the standard Speedmaster Sapphire sandwich, measuring 15.5 millimeters thick at the top of the slightly domed sapphire crystal. This 42 millimeters silver Snoopy adds an imperceptible 1.5 millimeters to the aforementioned, which feels like a fair concession to make for the watch's undeniable charm. Otherwise, its presence on the wrist is entirely predictable for those familiar with the Speedmaster's long-running silhouette. The Hamilton Intramatic Autochrono Panda is a watch that has garnered significant attention and positive reviews for its stunning design, vintage-inspired aesthetics, and reliable performance. The term panda refers to the specific dial configuration of the Intramatic Autochrono, where the subfields are white or light-colored, while the main dial is black, resembling the appearance of a panda's face. This dial design has a classic and timeless appeal, evoking the vintage chronographs from the mid-20th century. The watch features a stainless steel case, typically around 40 mm in diameter with clean lines and a polished finish, exuding a sense of understated elegance. The dial of the Intramatic Autochrono Panda is often praised for its legibility and balanced layout. The contrasting subutils enhance the watch's readability, while the white accents on the chronograph hands add a sporty touch. Inside the watch beats a reliable and precise automatic movement, ensuring accurate timekeeping and smooth chronograph functions. The sapphire crystal provides excellent protection against scratches and adds to the watch's overall durability. The Intramatic Autochrono Panda usually comes with a comfortable leather strap, completing its vintage look and adding to its charm. Overall, the Hamilton Intramatic Autochrono Panda is a well-received timepiece that captures the essence of vintage chronographs while offering modern reliability and quality. 
Its classic design and versatile appeal make it an excellent choice for both watch enthusiasts and those seeking stylish and sophisticated timepieces for various occasions. The Tagcuer Aquarisur 300 is one of the newest versions of the Aquarisur lineup, and like previous variations through the years, there are changes. Still, it's not a revamped model. Most would consider this a positive as if something works, let's not mess with it too much. The case of the Aquarisur 300M measures about 43mm, which provides enough presence on the wrist, especially underwater. It comes in two material options, versatile stainless steel and lightweight titanium. Confident and versatile, the Aquarisur 300M's overall design is expressive of the brand's sports legacy. Dials are usually rendered in high contrast hues such as silver, black, or blue for maximum legibility, but Tag Hewer also threw in a bright orange, pink, and green, which lend a playful twist. In addition to the classic time and date Aquarisur, the new collection also features a GMT model. Time and date watches run on the in house automatic caliber 5 which offers a balance frequency rating of 28,800 vibrations per hour and a 38-hour power reserve. The Aquarisur 300 straddles the line between elegance and professionalism and is a pure symbol of Tag Heuer's adventurous spirit. There are a handful of watch designs that are instantly and unmistakably recognizable from across a room. If a watch brand is lucky enough to have one of these, then a lot of the hard work is already done. The Panerai Luminar is without question one of these designs. In many ways, the Panerai Luminar Marina 44mm is a return to basics for the brand. It's a no-frills out-and-out tool watch. The 44mm case features the classic lines of Panerai's Luminar 1950 case with a matte brushed finish and a polished bezel. It features 24mm lugs and Panerai's quick-release strap chain system. Water resistance is a very fitting 300 meters, thanks to a solid screw-down case back. The Panerai Luminar Marina has a quality in-house automatic movement with a more than ample three days of power reserve. If you've been tempted by the slimmer Luminar Dew but have had difficulty accepting its lower depth rating, this could be a good watch to check out. It brings the refined aesthetic that helped define the Dew to the table, though not the thinness. This guy is a full 15.65 mm thick, while staying true to what many think a Panerai ought to be. As I said, this is a return to basics for Panerai. Several risks were upset when Panerai introduced the Caliber P9010 and updated longtime favorites such as the Luminar Marina PN312 and PN359 to include some controversial changes like blue seconds hand and vastly reduced water resistance ratings. This Luminar Marina isn't perfect, but it goes some way in righting those wrongs. If you found this video informative and enjoyable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Basewatches for more insightful content about the world of horology. And if you're interested in any of the watches featured in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description for more details. Until next time, keep ticking and stay stylish with Basewatches. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.